Assalamu alaikum everyone. Hi. Welcome to our ISO certified cupping and hijama wellness clinic. As in my earlier video, I mentioned also almost all disease response to hijama falling are the some most common condition or a disease where hijama responds very well. Number one is pain related condition. Cupping therapy is very effective in easing pain, especially that which is related to the headache, migraine, menstrual cramp, dental pain, back pain and sciatica. Second condition is a rheumatic disease. Hijama therapy can provide a great effect on the back and joint problem and is especially helpful for the conditions such as rheumatism, lumbago, stiff neck and shoulder because it increases blood circulation and mobility. And the third condition is arthritis which is very common nowadays. Hijama is recommended for the treatment of arthritis and pain. When treating arthritis, the treatment is concentrated on the area of joint concern and chronic fat syndrome which is very common nowadays because of the lifestyle and the food habit. This is a long standing severe fatigue without substantial muscle weakness or without any proven physical or psychological cause. Hijama alone with acupuncture is highly effective treatment for this condition. Number five is the chest and the heart disease. Hijama is also recommended for the treatment of lung disease, especially chronic cough, pleurisis, bronchial condition and asthma. It was also recommended for the congestive head heart failure until 1930. Later in 1942, uh, medical textbooks advise hijama for high fever pneumonia and acute pneumonia. The sixth condition is the gastrointestinal disease which is also very common in our country, tropical country. The stomach, spleen and the intestines are considered to be the most important engine of the human body. If we do a dry hijama which will stimulate the inside of the organs, their movement and the secretion of digestive fluid which in turn strengthen the power of digestion and the absorption of nutrient and the power of secretion. It also releases chronic gastroenteritis and constipations. Assalamu alaikum. This is the sixth condition which I have mentioned today and hope and the remaining six condition I will discuss in my next video. Uh, wish you best of the health. Assalamu alaikum.